This is a super fun success story. It's about turning pollution into electricity. First, we're gathered here at a former active Superfund site, a particularly nasty industrial and municipal waste landfill that was placed on EPA's national priorities list in 1984. Bill Murray is referring to a landfill compound about 15 miles southeast of downtown Denver. The compound comprises both the 500-acre Lowry Landfill, a Superfund site, and the adjacent landfill known as DADS, the much larger Denver Arapaho Disposal Site. Today, 24 years later, this site represents one of the most successful cleanup projects among the more than 1,000 sites addressed by the Superfund program. The natural decomposition of the waste and trash in this compound is creating both methane and carbon dioxide gases, gases which pollute our air. Here the gases are being intercepted and harnessed to generate electricity, enough electricity to power 3,000 homes. This gas to electric generation project is a unique example of the beneficial reuse of a Superfund site, one that takes potentially harmful landfill gas and transforms it into a positive. Even as long as 20 years ago, we began to take a look at this site because of its volume as a potential for a, uh, an energy recovery system. Here we have a place that is a gas reserve. We didn't have to go find it. It essentially was built. The building of this energy source continues every day as scores of trucks bring in more trash to Dad's. More trash which will yield more and more methane and carbon dioxide to be transformed into increasing amounts of electricity. In fact, the 5,000 tons of methane that these engines are harnessing each year are the equivalent of more than 100,000 tons of CO2. This is an annual benefit similar to removing 22,000 cars from the road. Of the 1,700 operating landfills in the United States, this compound, the combined Lowry Superfund site and the neighboring Dad's landfill, this compound is one of the largest sites in the country. What this project truly demonstrates is a change in the way we look at alternative energy and a cooperative effort to embrace and move towards a more sustainable future. So, let's cut the ribbon. Uh, Marsha and Renee, please join me.